the most basic operation in jaw surgery is having your impacted wisdom teeth removed. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. And that created an entire specialty of dentistry called oral surgery. And that one operation, how to take out every variation of impacted wisdom teeth, is the foundation for jaw surgery that you call corrective jaw surgery. And that's why it is that you go to an oral surgeon who takes out wisdom teeth to do the corrective jaw surgery. Right. right. That's right. how it has been traditionally. Yeah. So in a but sense, the whole, it, the whole field is kind of built on this sort of twisted uh, foundation of, dare I say, making things worse. I mean, how do you feel right. about wis wisdom tooth removal? I know that well, in your, some of your IMDO question... videos, you, you talk about how um, IMDO can often allow wisdom teeth to erupt more naturally mm. and in a healthy way if the space is mm. created. Um, but yeah. then I, I interviewed uh, Dr. Mariana Evans, who's a orthodontist, who said that there's no evidence that removing wisdom teeth negatively impacts jawbone. So I definitely pushed back against that and said, well, that's not my intuition, uh, but what, how, how do you feel? Well, uh, the, the, other, the other argument that they pose is they say, well, evolution has made our wisdom teeth redundant. Have you, have you heard of that one? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. She would right. not say you... that. Um, she, right. she's studied the Morton skull collection and, um, has very famously said that the old skulls all have 32 teeth. Um, in that mm -hmm. it's a modern uh, phenomenon that we've lost our teeth and it's not because of evolution. It's because of probably environmental causes that our jaws have gotten smaller and have been unable to accommodate the teeth. Mm -hmm. But she would not uh, uh, admit that removing the teeth can make the jaw worse over time. You know, I, my thesis is that the wisdom teeth are like concrete footings for the face. It's like when you're building a house, you have the mm. concrete foundation wall. And then under that, you have a, another piece of concrete that the concrete wall sits on. And that's the piece that's way deep below the frost line that can't move. And that's yeah. the cornerstone, you know? Um, well, hold up your fingers. How many fingers and toes have you? Uh, 10, 10 fingers, 10 okay. toes, fortunately. Which is the most useless amongst them? Uh, definitely the pinkies, but I would miss them. I wouldn't certainly wouldn't want to lose them. What about your little toe? The little toe I could do without probably, but I, but if I had a choice, I certainly wouldn't want to do without it. Okay, so let's, let's, let's have a philosophical conversation about your little toe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm a surgeon and I'm, and you're coming to me to have your little toe removed. How much are you going to pay me to do it? Whatever you ask. Well, you probably wouldn't pay me to do it at all. You, you, you're not no, going to have it removed. It's, it's just a part of you, right? You're not going why to would I want to pay? Yeah, why would I want to pay to have a piece of my body amputated? All right. Okay. So, and I'm a runner. I, I I run every day, I'm, and and I I run in toe shoes and. If I lost oh. my pinky toes, now I have a little piece of rubber flopping around on my toe shoe. The pinky slot is going to yeah, be unfilled, and that would suck. Don't really maybe, need it. You don't, maybe my it's, balance. It's an, it's an evolutionary. It's an evolutionary redundancy. Uh, evolution has decided that you don't need it. I, I'm a surgeon. I really want to remove your little toes. I'm so passionate about it that I'm going to pay you to allow me to remove your little toes you won't pay me but i'm going to pay you how much are your little toes worth how much can i pay you to allow me to cut off your little toes now i'm really freaked out because if you're paying me to cut off my yep. little toes i as a as a cynic especially a cynic of the medical uh world i think that that's a huge red flag you yeah, know okay. to me i could go down a but rabbit hole with that but if you're how, paying me that means much? i'm the product somehow Right, so I'm going to pay you to remove your little toe. Is it worth ten bucks? Can I give you ten bucks for your little toes? For to remove my wisdom, my uh, my little toes, I would need 
I would probably do it for fifty thousand a piece, not less. Fifty thousand a piece. Fifty thousand for one toe and fifty thousand for the other. A hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I'd consider it. You, you consider it, but okay. I would not. No, I'm a runner. I would not consider it. Okay. I could because that right. could destroy okay. well, my running. It's obviously a hundred thousand isn't enough. Well, let's go up the ladder. A million dollars, maybe. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, okay. but you're still you're still you're, you're still debating here a little bit. I think for let's sure. Ten ten million dollars. <sighs> I want an absolute yes. No, definitely ten million bucks. I can't give you an absolute yes. All right. Okay. You're still debating it. A hundred million dollars. I don't know if there's any number that I would pay. There's no ten. number, is there? There's there's no number. So in effect, what you're really saying, however useless everybody says your little toes are, to you, they're priceless. Right? I think so. But how much would you pay me to remove your wisdom teeth? Because I told you they're evolutionarily redundant. I think when I was 11 years old, my parents probably paid a couple stacks to have my wisdom teeth removed. Aren't they a part of you? They were. Now they're in some landfill somewhere, probably. Right. Yeah, and I miss game? them all the time. Sometimes I sweep yeah. my tongue up onto the roof of my mouth and I, I just, I, I meditate on the fact that I only have 24 teeth. And so let's, let's talk about, me let's out. talk about, let's talk, let's talk about how many body parts you've already lost. You've lost teeth. You've lost wisdom teeth. My appendix. What about your appendix? Gone. What about your, what about your tonsils? Still have my tonsils. They wanted to take my tonsils, but somehow I fortunately because, avoided Because that. you don't need your appendix. You don't need your tonsils. You don't need your adenoids. You don't need your wisdom teeth. You don't need these extra teeth, pre premolars. Yeah. I'll give you another one. Um, I'm circumcised, so my foreskin. Yeah, I lost my foreskin too, and I, and I regret tough. it. I mean, I, yeah, I, uh, was, was I don't think away. I'm not as negatively affected as some people are by, by my circumcision. I had a guy come on my channel and he gave me the whole download on that. And that for some mm. guys is a horror show. Okay, terrible. They come have yeah. complete sexual impotence. I notice that you've got hair, but yes. I don't, I would prefer to have my hair. In fact, I prefer to have my wisdom teeth. And I prefer to have my premolars, and I prefer to have all the structures in my nose and back of my throat that my ENT surgeon removed. I prefer to have all those bits of my body that every surgeon says, pay me to take it out, right? That's a kind of surgeon that you do not want to meet. Mm. The kind of surgeon that you want to meet is you don't have an arm and this surgeon says, I'm going to give you an arm. I'm not the guy who's going to cut your arm off. I'm going to give you back your arm. Yeah. I want my eye back. I want half my brain restored. But those surgeons don't exist because it's impossible to grow back an arm. But the moment you say it's impossible, you stop looking. And the moment people say you don't need your wisdom teeth is because you stopped looking for the reason why they get impacted. And the moment you can discover the reason to make sure that they can grow normally, every bloke on the planet who takes out wisdom teeth is going to object, right? Because they have yeah. to relearn their trade. Yeah. Well, someone told it's me like that with uh, third molar removal is a multi-billion dollar industry. I think it was it was somewhere between five and ten billion 